A sweet treat is leaving a Long Island woman with a bitter taste in her mouth. She's suing ice cream chain Cold Stone Creamery. It's very interesting. As Fox Size for Jessica Formosa shows us, it's all over what she says was a lack of actual pistachios in her pistachio ice cream. And now a judge ruled her class action lawsuit can move forward. A Long Island woman, Jenna Marie Duncan, is suing the ice cream chain Cold Stone Creamery over no real pistachios in her pistachio ice cream. That's a little bit ridiculous to me. Ridiculous or not, a federal judge has given the woman the green light to file the class action lawsuit. In the court documents, it states that Duncan purchased her pistachio ice cream at the Cold Stone in Levittown in July of 2022. She really believed at the time of her purchase that her ice cream contained real pistachios. Turns out it was just an artificial flavor. The complaint states it was false and deceptive practices in the marketing and sales of their ice creams, defying reasonable consumers' expectations. I would be disappointed if they didn't have pistachios in their pistachio ice cream. I think that's a valid point. Good for her. Imran Ansari is a trial attorney. He is not representing the plaintiff or defendant in this case. There may be a result here in her favor because if it was reasonable for her to think that there were pistachios in this ice cream uh, and that this advertising or the way it was marketed by Cold Stone uh, was deceptive, then she may be entitled to winning on her lawsuit. Fox 5 reached out to Kahala Franchising LLC, the partner franchiser of Cold Stone stores. They did not respond to our request for comment. However, according to the Associated Press, Kahala sought to have the case dismissed, arguing that the detailed list of ice cream ingredients are published online. As for what was published at the Levittown location, there was no signage indicating any particular ingredients. In order for Colstone to have a defense here, they would have to show that they had labels somewhere that was conspicuous, that it was artificially flavored. If she and the others in the class action lawsuit win, they could each walk away with $50. In Times Square, I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News.